Hello friends, it is Danny, and I have not filmed a video in like three weeks. I'm completely lazy and have not cleaned my room, so that is why we're filming over here in my writing video location, other than my bed as well, because I still haven't finished my bookshelves. Um, that's something I plan to hopefully do this weekend, is reorganize my bookshelves, and then I'll have another video with that happening. I said there wasn't an excuse, but there really is, and it's just called laziness and lack of motivation. But besides all my excuses, today I am here to film an actual book-related video that is not a haul and not a review. It is a very ambitious Arc August TBR. Arc August is a thing that was going around on Twitter. It's basically where you take all of the arcs that you have and you read them in August to try and get rid of them on your TBR. And honey, I got a lot. These are just a few. I decided to go with this pile in hopes that it will actually motivate me to read something. On top of not being in a filming kick, I'm also not in a reading kick or writing kick or really anything kick. Actually, I've been writing more, but um, save that for a Danny Diaries update whenever I decide to do that. So some of the books in here I may not get to because they are arcs that have already technically released. My focus is mainly going to be on the ones that have not released yet that are coming out between August and I think October is the latest I have in this pile. And I'm hoping to get a few of these read so that I can post reviews or at least film reviews so I have them to put up during the next coming months. I'm taking a trip to Toronto next month for Frenzy Presents so I'm going to be getting ARCs and meeting Becky Albertelli, Julie Murphy, and Angie Thomas. What? what is this life? Still can't get over that. I have to be prepared. <laughs> not prepared. <laughs> not in any order. They probably should be, but they're not. This is just a pile that was on my shelf, so I'm just gonna go in order of the way I picked them up. The first book that I have on this pile is actually the one that I'm currently reading, and that is Vanilla by Billy Merrill, and this is an inverse LGBTQ plus book. Um, and it is about a boy named Vanilla and a boy named Hunter who've been dating since seventh grade. They're feeling different things about their relationship and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this book. I'm 160 pages in, it's 320 pages, and I'm realizing that there is some ace phobia in this book and some issues that I'm having with it. So I will be talking more about that in my review. I am definitely going to be finishing this one. I started it at the beginning of August. And this book comes out October 10th of 2017. Next book on my pile is All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katsopoulos. Nope, that's not Uncle Jesse's brother. It's Katsopoulos, not Katsopoulos. This book is about a girl who is about to turn 16. And once you turn 16, you have to pay for every single word that you speak because it's copyrighted, trademarked. So Speth Jime is the name of the girl and she's decided not to speak as an act of defiance against her society. Kind of getting the uh, 1984 vibe from this. I think I mentioned that when I hauled this from BookCon and it is out August 29th of this year, of this month. The next book that I have on my pile I got in a books for trade with a girl named Madeline and that is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I actually got to meet her at BookCon. She was really nice. I didn't get to take a picture with her because she was sitting at the table um, with a bunch of her friends and I just said hi. This is about a boy named Justice who has decided to start writing letters to Martin Luther King Jr. Flirped by Angie Thomas and I get to meet her. What is this life? I have a feeling this is very much going to be like Hate You Give. Uh, and I was really excited when I was able to trade for it. I traded, what did I trade? I can't remember what I traded. I think it was a taxonomy of love, which I don't even remember what it's about, but I traded that and got this, and this is out in October. Then I have All About Mia by Lisa Williamson. This is about the bad girl of the family, and then her sister starts to become the bad girl because she has this secret. You would think that because her sister has this secret that her sister's life would start falling apart, but it's actually Mia's life who starts falling apart. I got sent this when I got a, the copy of Lucky in Love and Vanilla. And this book is out September 12th of this year. Next I have Expelled by James Patterson and Emily Raymond. This was an arc that I was given 
for free at BookCon. Don't really know much about this. I know it's about four kids uh, who all have a dark secret and they weren't expelled for that secret. They were expelled for some other reason. That's literally all I know because that's what's on the back. All I know <laughs> is that it was marketed at BookCon as the Breakfast Club YA version and I was sold. <laughs> this is out on October 23rd of this year. A lot of these are from BookCon, but the next book that I have is 27 Hours by Justina Wright. This I am very excited for. It's literally so beautiful. It is marketed as an exhilarating YA sci-fi fantasy for fans of Lainey Taylor's Daughter in Smoke and Bone or Brian K. Vaughn's saga. It's got LGBT aspects. There is a bisexual character in here. I got this at book con thanks to Lindsay and her mom from the, the Huffle Puffle and they got it signed for me. This comes out October 2017 and it, and the last two that I have are kind of questionable. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to them. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to all of these on my list either but I'm hoping I can. Next I have I See London, I See France by Sarah Melanowski. I was given this in February from HarperCollins at Frenzy Presents. This was basically broadcasted as the perfect summer road trip tells the story of a girl learning to navigate secret romances, thorny relationships, and the London Tube. She goes to Amsterdam, Switzerland, Italy, and France, and she must learn to hold on, when to keep moving, and when to jump in the Riviera. This came out already on July 11th. It's not that long ago that it was published. I just never got to it because it's giant and I should probably read it now because it's summer. And the other book that I'm not too sure about and it was already released in May but I'm still gonna put it on this TBR because I'm being way too over ambitious is Romancing the Throne by Nadine Jolie Courtney. What I remember this being marketed as is um, Two sisters fighting over a prince going to the same boarding school. It's literally mentioned on the back that it's two sisters divided by one prince equals one royal heartbreak. I actually traded somebody for this when I was at HarperCollins Frenzy Presents in February and I go again in September. <laughs> this was published in May. I think I started it. I got like maybe a few pages in and then just kind of switched books because I was in a reading slump. I've been in a reading slump for like six months. Let's be real here. That is it for my very ambitious August Arc TBR. <laughs> Hoping to get through some of them, if not a lot of them. A lot of them are fairly small books. They're like 300-ish pages and some of them are more which kind of scares me. But I'm hoping that if they're good, then I'll go through them fast. Right now I'm kind of struggling through vanilla. I thought I would like it, but like I said, there are some issues that I'm having with it. Here's hoping I can get through that and then power through some of the other books on this TBR. Comment down below what's on your ARC August TBR. Comment if you've got any of these ARCs or if you're excited to read any of these and which ones you are excited to hear my thoughts on. I am going to be trying to post some more videos. I really don't have ideas right now for what I want to post even though I had a long list in a notebook somewhere that I've lost. So I think I'm going to have to make a new one in my bullet journal because I've started bullet journaling. So. Maybe I could make a video about that. I don't know. <laughs> if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Question mark. That is it for this video. And whatever my next one will be, I will see you in that one. Bye! Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you really enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down below and go and read some books.